from the page you want to test, you navigate to that page. So we're on the page that we wanted to test. And in the right hand side of the screen, under test this page, you click test this page and open Messenger. And again, you know, you guys know by now how to copy the mobile link. And I do recommend doing that and testing it on your mobile phone as well. So here's the first message. Hey Isaac, how many hours a day do you think you spend on your couch? Reply stop at any time to opt out uh, of messages from us. And I can reply stop and get an unsubscribe prompt. But I'm going to be like, um, I think I spend about 30 minutes a day on my couch, right? This is free form. So I, re I reply. And they send me the GIF of the dog. So far, so far, so good. It's working. And I see the typing. Isaac, Sofamania is running a limited time promotion this week and we're offering an exclusive coupon only available through Facebook Messenger. Good. Use code SM Special at checkout. Shop sale now. Okay, so here are three of our best things in case you wanted to check them out. Um, everything worked well, but one thing that I didn't like was that it came in too fast. Like I wanted to, I want another break after this, after the shop sale now, so a person could process that. Um, but I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I don't see any issues. We have the three bestsellers. Um, let me just test these links. That's always a good idea. And just the one shop now button. Make sure it's all good, 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 good. Okay, all the links work well. Oh, it's always a good idea to test your links. Um, so let's go back and add a typing widget after or before the, the last text widget. So go back into Mobile Monkey. I'm going to add a typing widget. I'm going to have to re drag it to reorder it. Scroll to the bottom. That's where it lives. And I'm going to drag it and reorder it before. Um, well, look at that. See, this is exactly what we mean to do to debug a little bit. So there is a typing widget there already. So I'm going to drop this back down here, delete it and try to see what exactly went wrong. It's a quick question. We have the GIF typing for four seconds and then it should show typing for six seconds. Maybe there's a little bit of a bug there. Um, let me go down to typing or move it up a little bit to typing for seven seconds. Let's see how that goes. Um, I'm going to now retest this page and then retest the whole process by clicking test and open in Messenger. We're going to test again. Remember I told you that sometimes you need to do this multiple times and here it is. Okay. So Isaac, how many hours a day do you think you spend on your couch? Three hours. Here's my dog. Here's typing. This should be four seconds. There we go. There's my seven second or six second typing that is working now. Maybe there was a bug at six seconds. All these bugs get fixed easily. Um, and here are three of our best selling items in case you want to check them out. And that's that. That's a great chat blast. Um, I think the dog is funny. And it's also nice. It's not, you're not, we're not blowing up the person's inbox because we do have to get them to respond to our first question in order for the chat blast to continue. That's something which is important to note. If nobody responds, and that's also, you should think about that when it comes to strategizing your chat blast because there's a pro and con. The pro of getting somebody to respond is that you keep them on your messenger list. They're, they remain part of your audience. It, re, um, it restarts their audience window. So they more time will pass before they fall off your audience list and, and so you could still send them your drip campaigns and your chat blasts. At the same time, if nobody responds and you, you did not send out any of the actual marketing information you wanted to send out, then you might have lost some opportunity there. So you, in some cases, your chat blast might just be the first message starts off with like, we're running this 20% coupon, it's exclusive, here's the, here's the coupon code. I chose in this case because I know that my audience has very, I have typically good engagement rates on my audience. I know that um, something like this could work and it will help and I want to get the advantage of keeping people, keeping people on my list for longer. But I'm happy with how this looks and if you're happy with how your chat blasts look, once you've tested it once, you're really ready to send it out. So I would do another test on a mobile device and I've, I've already done that because we're going to send, we're actually going to send out the, send, send out this blast. Um, so. Do, do the mobile test, make sure everything looks good and it's format, formatted well on mobile.